Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Lauren Kaplan from LexisNexis, and I am pleased to present the Nexus News Search app for you today. As the name suggests, this app is all about searching. Uh, we designed this app uh, with a lot of feedback from our customers who were really looking for a way to take all of the great content that they search today in our Nexus product, but have a way to easily search it wherever they are in a mobile environment. The app that I'll show you is free to all of our Nexus and Oh, to all, thank you to all of our Nexus.com and Nexus Direct customers. Uh, so they are able to download that from the Apple Store uh, and use it with their current ID. Uh, what I'll be showing you is the iPad version of this app, but we also have it available as a mobile-enabled site uh, for use on any type of device. So let me walk you through a little bit of what you're seeing here on the screen. As I said, it's, very, it's designed to be very simple. We have a search box at the top, and I'll walk you through a search in a moment. But let me share with you what else you are looking at on this page. Uh, in addition to the search box, we have a couple of different options of content that you could choose. The default uh, on Larry's is the, uh, the web blogs, but generally our default is to select uh, all of the news that we have in our collection. You can also choose, though, if you wanted to narrow down, if you're interested in a certain type of news content, uh, you can see the options that we have listed here. In addition, we give you the option to choose the date range that you're interested in doing your search around. Um, you know, we go all the way up to two years back within this application. I'm going to choose previous week for today's demonstration. We also have a few other options here that allow you to narrow down some of the types of content that you're getting into the, your result set. I sometimes like to choose to exclude the news wires when I'm doing a search in a mobile application just to reduce the number of articles that I'm going to get. Uh, we also have other options where you could uh, show only articles above 500 words. So let me do a quick search for you here. I'll search on the Florida primary. Certainly something that's getting a lot of coverage these days. Uh, and as the results come up, hopefully the wireless is working now, and it is, uh, you can see the results show up very nicely here on the left-hand side. As you scroll through, you can get a sense of the types of content that we have within our collection, a range of, of types of uh, publishers, uh, domestic and international, uh, newspapers, blogs, magazines, and other types of content. Um, if you wanted to narrow down and get content only from one publisher, you could certainly do that within the search terms. I'm going to, for example, just get articles from the Boston Globe. Um, and that should be going right now. And you can see the articles that we have here. Let me show you what the display looks like. Uh, you see the article very simply here uh, on the right-hand side. Uh, with your search term on well, the Florida primary highlighted in, in bold. From this page, you can also choose to email the article to yourself or really whomever you would want. You can email it to up to three email addresses from this application. You would just click the little envelope and enter your email address right there. Um, you also have um, some basic functionality to change the uh, size of the font to optimize for your best viewing. That is pretty much the app that, that I wanted to, to show you today. Um, if anyone is interested in getting a free trial to this application, please come see me. I'd be happy to give you a card with a trial ID.